you know sometimes when you buy something and you think, you know, it's quite expensive and sometimes you're disappointed because, you know, you pay a lot of money and it doesn't ooze quality. Well, this, it does. It oozes quality even down to the actual packaging. Yeah, even down to this. Nice bit of quality packaging, in my opinion. This comes with a USB to USB Type-C connection for charging it up. And by the way, I've charged it up already. Comes with a little ruler, which I thought was quite nice. And I think that's magnetic, you know. I'm pretty sure it is. We'll find out. It feels like it, sort of. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, instructions. And again, talking about quality. It oozes quality. They've gone into a lot of care to give you all the information you need. And it's in two languages. One being English and one being, I don't know, Chinese, Japanese. I don't know the difference. So I don't know. But again, quality. So get them two out of the way. Get that out of the way. The actual screwdriver itself. Now, I did buy this myself. Yeah, I didn't ask for this, I just went out and bought it because I wanted something that could do or get into tight spaces like when you're screwing in a motherboard. You know, sometimes it can be a bit awkward to get into the little gaps. So this, I thought, oh, this would be perfect. And it's got a little light on it as well. I didn't buy it for the little light, but it does have a little light on it for when you're using it. So we have this bit, which goes into that bit. We have forwards and backwards or left and right as it says on there nice digital display on off button usb type c connection for charging them up like i said i've already charged you up and it feels like quality we'll go through that in a second this is just a little holder for holding this into place and i thought again nice little touch <laughs> it comes with 96 bits <laughs> or 96 Part is 102 in total, and again, quality it's made of metal and it's a push button thing. You push it down, it pops up, push it down, it locks so the bits won't fall out. Very good. Now, this is magnetic, so it stops it falling out. So, if you want one out, say for instance, that one, go like that, take it out, and put it back. Magnetic. This is a separate screwdriver all by itself. I did think at the time it may be it's a, an add-on for a longer, a longer screwdriver, but it's not. It's just a screwdriver that's separate. It's got a nice, it's got a nice little swivel on the end, and that just turns like forever and ever. Don't know what it actually does. It just turns. So you could use this as well if you want to do something a little bit more delicate, and that fits in there. And I did notice you do need to push that down like that because it won't slide back into that properly otherwise like so and you might be thinking well there ain't 96 bits there Yorkie two-sided yes and it gives you some ideas of what you can actually use this set for PC like I said and we have watch camera glasses control devices like control pads phones and tablets Yes, so good selection. And it's nicely laid out. It is very nicely laid out. Like I said, it oozes quality. Oozes. <laughs> Put that away. Let me show you how this works. So, to turn it on, you just press the button, comes on. Fully charged, screw in, and we're on setting number one, which is the strongest setting. It does tell you what it goes down to. I think it's something like that. actually I'll read it out to you to be honest I don't really understand the settings right maximum maximum talk mode which is number one is 2.0 kgf dot cm I don't know let me know what it means and number four is the softest setting is 0 0.5 kgf dot cm and then you have 1.5 in between that and 1.0 Hopefully that helps you to understand that bit because it doesn't mean nothing to me whatsoever. So, turn it on, like I said, just press that once. We have left. Oh yeah, there's a little light as well. See that? Nice little light. Perfect. I did say that earlier, didn't I? And we have right. 
So screw it in, screw it out. Yeah. Now, should you wish to change the torque settings, I'm not sure if you're going to pick that up properly on the camera, I'll try my best. You need to press this button three times. Turn it on first. One, two, three. Didn't do it fast enough. Got to do it fast. And then press it once to change. Press, say for instance, go number four. You press it, leave it alone for two seconds, and it's set on number four. Then go back to number one. Leave it. Very easy to use once you know how to use it, of course. And yeah, brilliant. Love it. Don't know why I took that out. Put that in there, don't I? So I need to test it, don't I? We need to see how easy it is to actually operate. So that goes in there like so. There. So that's in. Or you can go that way. It's up to you. Oh, I can stop it with my fingers. Well, it is designed for precision work. It is not really designed for heavy duty stuff, is it? But it does work. All right, let's put it on number four. I want to see if it feels different on holding it. Oh, it's a lot easier to hold or stop. It definitely works. So put that back. Don't forget they're magnetic. And you have, like I said, double-sided. Yeah, very good. Very nice indeed. Quality cells. Put that back. Oh, I like that. It's made of metal as well. So yeah. So far, definitely gets my thumbs up. But I need to do some testing, don't I? I need to try it out, see how well I'll get on with it. And hopefully, hopefully I'm very pleased with it because it cost. It costs over £50, or for this one anyway. This is the full kit. You can get cheaper models of this with not so many bits, but I thought, I'm going for the lot. And I think it was about £56, something like that. Link in the video description in case you want to go and check it out. So uh, with that, let's do some testing, shall we? And no, I'm not showing you me doing the unboxing again on the same product. Well, it's the same product, but the first one I've sent back because it didn't work. It worked for about five minutes and it packed up. So I thought we'll give it the benefit of the doubt and I've ordered another one. And hopefully this one lasts more than five minutes. So yeah, it just packed up on me. I used it once and it didn't work no more. But hopefully this one will. Yeah, hopefully. Do, do, do. Everything is exactly the same as you would expect. But, like I said, hopefully she works. So, uh, with that, yes, I will charge her up and then we will give her a proper test. Actually, I'm not going to charge her up. I am just going to test her straight away. I changed my mind. Just in case it packs up. So what do I need? I need a Philips. Uh, Going to go for that one now, I believe. Looking at that, looks about the right one. Just check. Yep. Let's see if she works. She's in. Plug it in now. Oh yeah, she does. See that? Oops. And I haven't loosened them off or anything. Oh, that one's a bit stiff. Oh, that's annoying. In fact, it keeps falling out. That's better. Well, that worked pretty well. 
it was a little bit annoying that this kept falling out of here. I did find that a bit annoying because it doesn't seem to be magnetised. And I thought it might have been. But it's not. Well, it doesn't feel like it anyway. So a little bit disappointed in that. Yes, as you would expect. But it did undo all the screws. I did have to do a couple of them with giving it a bit of help to get it going. But I did do it pretty well. What I'm going to do now is put all these screws back in. And then I'm going to test it over a few days on some different devices. Not my phone. Because I don't want to break my phone. But I'm going to try it on some other devices and see how easy it is to undo the screws. And put them back in. Or even taking it completely apart. I don't really want to take this keyboard apart because it's quite an expensive keyboard. And it's my backup one. In case my wireless one packs up. Always need a backup, don't you? So uh, let's stick it back in. And then I will tell you in a few days time what I think about it. So after playing about with it for a little while, I'm uh, I'm sending it back because I'm very disappointed for the amount of money it cost, and I think it was just under fifty quid for the second one. The bits keep falling out. It ain't no good to me whether I'm using this bit or not. That is not holding it in place. Now if I put it in there, yeah, it's fine. It's magnetised. That holds it in. The same as if I put it in here. Yeah, it holds it in. But for whatever reason, they haven't magnetised this. And that is so annoying. Now some of the bigger bits, like these, sometimes they stay in a bit better. Sometimes. <laughs> Not always. So I'm definitely sending it back. I'm very disappointed. I was looking forward to using this, but you know, it's going to be frustrating. If I'm putting something into or screwing in a motherboard and I'm in a tight space... There's nothing worse than you've gone down between something and, you know, that falls out with the screw on the end. Because then I've got to look for the screw, and I? And I've got to get this bit out as well. So, yeah, it's definitely going back. Definitely gets my thumbs down. And it's not often I say that because, you know, I like to give something a fair chance and I like to think, you know, say, for instance, it costs like £20. You don't expect it to be fantastic, but this costs... Not around 50 quid and it's got a very good rating but not for me not today so uh, with that <coughs> if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down consider subscribing clicking on the bell to get notified and watch my videos thanks very much for watching